Welcome to the fourth video in the gravitation topic. So this entire topic is devoted to gravity, and we know that an object in a gravitational field can have a potential energy due to that field. And we know that potential energy as gravitational potential energy, <coughs> somewhat strangely. So in this video, we're going to look at how to find the gravitational potential energy for any object at any distance in any gravitational field. So here we're going to look at the gravitational potential energy for our small planet, mass m, at a distance r, capital R, from a larger planet, mass capital M. I've defined the direction along the radial axis r as positive and pointing outwards. So in the work and energy topic, we saw that the work done on an object was equal to the negative of the change in the potential energy of that object. And if this equation is not entirely familiar, then I will take this opportunity to be very teachery uh, and recommend a review of that topic. What we're looking for is the potential energy of our object at a radius capital R. But what we have is an expression for the change in potential energy. So if we can find a point at which our potential energy is zero, then our change in potential energy between R and that point will give us the potential energy at R. And we know that at a distance of infinity from our large object, there is no longer any force due to gravity from it. So that is, the gravitational potential energy at an infinite distance is equal to zero. So if we look at the work required to move our object from its current position at R out to, the, <coughs> out to infinity, then we find that that's equal to the negative of the gravitational potential energy at a distance R, which is the quantity that we want. So now to find that, we need to find the work done on the small planet. We know that work is equal to F dot S, again from work and energy. And in the case where we have a constant force acting, so for, for the example, uh, on the gravitational field uh, on Earth's surface, so at a fixed R, then we can say that the work done is equal to that force times the, the displacement. But here we want to know the potential energy of an object at some distance r in the gravitational field. And we know the force due to gravity is not constant with r. So we're dealing now with work done by a variable force, which we need to approach slightly differently. We'll do our usual trick. So we look at the work done over a very small displacement ds, over which we can assume that the force is constant. And then our, the, the work done over that small displacement ds is equal to f times ds. To find the work done over the range of displacements that we're interested in, we integrate over that range. And solving that integral, we find that the work done by gravity at a distance r is equal to minus 2 times gmm over r. So we know from our original equation then, that the potential energy of an object at any distance r is equal to minus 2 times gmm on r. So that is, it's proportional to 1 divided by the distance. So now that we know how to find the gravitational potential energy of any object at any point in a gravitational field, uh, it's possible for us to find the escape speed of that object, which is the speed it must be travelling in order to escape the gravitational pull of the planet or the object. And by escape, what that means is that it will come to rest only at infinity. So the more specific question is this one. And I'm going to leave this question for you guys to do. I'll put the worked solution below this video.